Hello and welcome, my name's Hannah and in today's video I'm going to be trying out every single makeup product from Rose Ink. I'm going to be giving you my honest first impressions plus I'm going to do a wear test to see how it all wears throughout the day. So sit back, relax and let's get into the video. So Rose Ink is Rosie Huntington Whiteley's makeup and skincare brand and this is a clean beauty brand. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free. I, as I said, picked up every single makeup item. I also got a couple of skincare bits as well because I couldn't help myself. So let's just talk through, first of all, the makeup that I got. I got the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. I got the Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer as well. Well, I got the Brow Renew Enriched Shaping Eyebrow Gel and then a lot of lip products. So there's going to be some lip swatching today. I got the Lip Sculpt Amplifying Lip Color. This is a crayon type deal. I also got this limited edition lipstick set and this has three different colors in there. Satin Lip Color Rich Refillable Lipstick Shades. And I also got four colors in the Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color. The thing that I really like about Rose Ink as well is that some of their products are refillable. These are one of them, the lipstick shades are another, which means that once you've run out of the actual colour element, you can take that out, recycle it, buy a refill and pop it back into the packaging, which makes everything a lot more sustainable. It also means that you're paying slightly less for the refill because you're not paying for the packaging element of it. And then on the skincare side, I got this was a free sample which we love a free sample this is a skin clarity gentle exfoliating cleanser the skin resolution clarifying toner and i also got the radiant reveal brightening serum and all of this comes in gorgeous glass packaging so that is everything i think i've said everything that i want to say <laughs> so let's get these out of the boxes and start trying things on okay so i used the cleanser and the toner already in my skincare routine so i'll just quickly talk about those obviously with skincare it's going to take a little bit longer to figure out if it's actually working but i'll just give you my first impressions now so the gentle exfoliating cleanser this is a physical exfoliant so it's got little tiny almost like beads of product in there that exfoliate the skin but they are very small the fact that they're mixed in with the cleanser means that it is very gentle i really enjoyed this it didn't irritate my skin which is great because i do have quite sensitive skin and it made my skin look really nice and glowing afterwards i did enjoy this i am going to continue to use this and then the toner yeah this was nice it smells delicious what does it smell like it's very it smells almost like cake but in a good way, in a classy way. I don't know if I can describe that right, but it was it was nice. I expected it to be slightly more hydrating. I'm gonna be giving this more of a go. The Radiant Reveal Brightening Serum, I haven't tried this yet because I usually put on my Glow Recipe Serum before my makeup, so I thought I would do that today with this. Yeah, this smells good as well. It smells a bit like the cleanser. My um, mirror's over there, by the way. Feels really smooth. Hydrating. Definitely be using this again. Now if you see redness, it's just because I have reactive skin, which means basically any time I touch it, it goes red. Now that is looking really gorgeous, really glowy. I like that. I will be using that again. Next up we have the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum and this I got in the very lightest shade which I think is shade 10. I have been seeing this all over TikTok recently. Everyone's saying it's really really lovely for every day and it's a bit unusual because it's got these little encapsulated beads. I've not ever seen anything like this. The packaging says it is a hydrating serum foundation that delivers light coverage while helping to refresh skin after exposure to pollution, which is exciting. It suggests to put this on the back of your hand and then use a foundation brush to activate, but basically break up the mic micro encapsulated pigment spheres. So that's what we are going to do. So I'm going to pump a little bit out onto the back of my hand really unusual okay so there it is all blended out on the face and that is a really unusual product 
I, I like it. It definitely is like nothing I've tried before. It's very watery almost and it feels like that when you're putting it onto the skin it's very liquidy it's very light coverage which is exactly what it said i think the glow you can see is part the skin tint and then part the radiant serum underneath but it is looking really nice i don't think this is very buildable but i don't think it's supposed to be it is just supposed to even everything out which it has done cover up a tiny bit of the redness which it has done and i think it looks really nice but it is so unusual such an unusual texture so next up we've got the concealer and this again i got in the lighter shade which i think is 10 yes and what i'm gonna do is put this on a few spots around my face and under the eyes and then i'm gonna blend one side out with a sponge which is what i would usually do and one side out with this brand new rare beauty concealer brush that i got along with this order because again i couldn't help myself couldn't help myself so let's do that huge doe foot which I like I like a big doe foot getting a lot of product off on the brush which is nice okay, let's let that sink in for just a minute let's blend this side out with a sponge we'll do this one with a brush they recommend you use your fingers or a brush but um, I want to see if it works with how I like to apply concealer so let's blend that out it's definitely got some coverage, which is nice. It's looking hydrated, smooth, isn't emphasizing any fine lines, which is great. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I, I really like that. I'm, I'm very picky with concealer, but I really like that. Let's try this side with the brush. Yeah, you're definitely getting more coverage with the brush, which is to be expected. Okay, so I like the brush, but I think I prefer it blended out with the sponge. Just think having this really helps sink everything into the under eye. But we will use the brush on the rest of the face. It's doing a really good job covering up the spots, which I like. A little bit definitely goes a long way. Yeah, and I think the, the brush is good, but because I've put a little bit too much on my forehead, I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge just to take away a little tiny bit of that. So there it is all blended in on the face and it looks really nice. Again, as I said, really hydrating, isn't emphasizing the fine lines here. It's looking really, really nice. I am next going to go in with the brow gel. This is in the shade two and i'm just gonna pop this through the brows there's not much to say about brow gel is there Ooh, got my hair in there fantastic it's a nice thin brush but you don't get a huge amount of product off on the brush so that's what it looks like and i'm having to dip in for a second coat but i think that's done it to be fair so there is one brow compared to the other brow i don't think there's a huge amount of difference to be honest you definitely do have a little bit more color and fullness on this brow but it is very subtle and i think i still prefer my elf wow brow to this we'll have to see how it looks when they're both done but yeah i think at the moment i'm still preferring the elf There we are with both brows done. They are looking nice actually. I do like this color. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. But I mean, there's not too much you can say about a brow gel. I definitely will use it again now that I have it, but I'm not sure I would go out of my way to repurchase it over my e.l.f. Wow brow. So before we move on to anything else, I'm quickly gonna set just one under eye with powder to see how the concealer reacts with powder. Then I'm gonna leave the other one alone. I am gonna set the right side here and it creases to be fair it's not creasing very much under the eyes which is nice okay yeah that's looking really nice with powder i'm using the um number seven perfect light pressed powder by the way and this is looking really nice 
I like that. Let's move on to lip stuff and we'll do a few lip swatches because I have a lot. So this is the Spring Lip Edit collection that comes with three of their satin refillable lipsticks. I like how they've given you the packaging here and then the two refills here. And these come in the shades Poetic, Coquettish and Serene. So let's swatch them on the back of my hand and then I'll do some lip swatches as well. I like the shape of the actual lipstick. This reminds me of the, the shape of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks where you've got this straight edge at the top and it makes for a really good line on the lips. So I love that. This is Poetic. This is coquettish. This is serene. Let's swatch them on the lips as well, starting with poetic. Okay, so that is poetic. Nice, bright. They definitely feel creamy and look satin. They do feel a little thicker, which is nice. It means that they're not going to move around. They're not going to go outside of the lines so I like that and I like that it's a bit of a fun bright spring color this one is coquettish okay so that is coquettish I really like I really like this one and then finally we have serene Okay, so that is Serene, and I really like the formula on that. As I said, really nice, creamy, it definitely looks satin, but not overly glowy. It's good, it's really good. What I'm gonna do is, because I have a lot of lip products, I'm gonna, I think, put one of these on to see how long they last throughout the day. I also have some pasta coming for lunch, so that'll be a good test to put it through. But I'm gonna decide what blush color I wanna do first, and also I'm gonna swatch a couple of those on the lips as well, just to see what the formula's like on the lips. Also, obviously I got the set, but they do sell these individually and they have a lot more colors if you are interested in the formula, but you don't like the colors in the set. So the other lip product I got was the Lip Sculpt Amplifying Lip Color. And this is in the shade Abstraction and it is more of a crayon type product. I love a crayon lip product because they're just so easy to put on. This is what it looks like on the back of the hand nice nudie kind of every day which I like and put it on the lips okay so this is what this one looks like on the lips it is again a really nice formula it doesn't feel too thin that it's going to slide around but not so thick that it is uncomfortable feels too makeup-y it's a, no a lovely color I really like this this is more of an everyday sort of brighter nude but it's nice I really like this See, now I don't know what I want to wear. And I've got four blush colours as well. Ridiculous. I definitely bought too much, but when have I never bought too much? So let's have a look at the different blush and cheek shades. This is the shade Foxglove. They feel really creamy. Nice. This is the shade Anemone. Looks like that. And what it looks like on the hand. Then we have Ophelia, which looks like this. More of a bright pink. And finally, Heliotrope, which looks like this. And this one I got because it looked like more of a nice everyday shade. And yeah, it's really nice. They're all gorgeous to be fair. I feel he's a lot brighter than I thought it would be, but it's quite fun. What do I wanna do? So we're gonna put Foxglove on and I'm also gonna try that on the lips and then wipe it off just to see if it's comfortable. Cause the thing I find with cream blushes is sometimes when they're a really good formula for the cheeks, they can just be a bit too drying on the actual lips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side with a brush and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator. I've really been enjoying this for cream blush lately. I was using the Katie Jane Hughes stippled brush, but this gives a lot more color payoff. So if you're looking for something a bit more intense on the cheeks, this is brilliant for cream blush. And then I'm gonna use a damp beauty sponge for the other side. So let's go in with the brush and tap on the back of my hand just to see how pigmented that is. Quite so, tap tap. On the nose. 
Yeah, that's looking nice. Really bright color, very pigmented, blending out really easily. That's nice. Just going over to make it a little bit softer. But yeah, that's nice. I really, really like that. But let's go in with the sponge on the other side. Sponge definitely shears the colour out a bit more, so if you are looking for something a little less intense, sponge is probably the way to go, all your fingers. Unless you go in like that and then put too much on. Okay, so that is that all blended out on the cheeks. It looks gorgeous. It is a really lovely colour, it's definitely buildable. I tried it with the brush and with the damp beauty sponge and both application methods were lovely. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on this side with the finger and just see how that works. Yeah, blending out wonderfully. These are gorgeous. It's no wonder people really love them. They're so good. They're going on on top of the foundation really nicely and the powder on this side really nicely. Gorgeous. I think there's seven shades and I got four. And I might have to get the other three. No, I don't need them. But I might, I might, but I don't need them. Let's um, go onto the lips with this colour and just see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the lips. Really nice, but definitely more of a drier formula than the two lip products I tried because it is designed for the cheeks as well but it is not as drying as other cheek to lip products I have used and I think I could very comfortably wear this throughout the day. Let's put the lipstick back on. Again, this is in the shade Poetic. I think that's it. I'm just gonna put some mascara on and then I will be right back. Okay, so I tried to put more of that blush on and it's very pigmented. So just be aware of that. It was quite intense for a second. I'll show you, hang on. Very intense. So I put a little bit more of the Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum on top just to tone it down. And now I think it's looking okay. Which is good because it means the products lay on top of each other really well. Okay, so we have the full face on now. Everything's looking really lovely, really glowy, very natural. I'm really enjoying everything so far. I think my favourite at this stage are the concealer. I think that's really gorgeous. The Radiant Reveal Serum, also really, really gorgeous. And obviously the blush and lip compacts, which are gorgeous if not very pigmented i'm really impressed i'm really happy i got all of these things i was really excited to film this and so i'm really glad that i'm not disappointed by anything so far which is great i am going to wear this for about eight hours and i will let you know how everything is looking then so i will see you in a little bit okay so it's been about seven hours since i first put on the makeup and this is what it's looking like let's start with the lips so the lipstick wore off after about three hours so this is not the original lipstick that i put on i wasn't expecting it to last for a very long time anyway so that's what i would expect of a lipstick plus i was eating and drinking quite a bit so it did wear off really nicely it did feel really nice on the lips i've put on the lip and cheek color in the shade foxglove onto my lips now and this has been on for about an again another three hours but the color is still there it's still really intense it is transfer proof which is fantastic so i'm really enjoying these on the lips they're definitely not very hydrating but they are long lasting the cheeks are looking really great these are fantastic the eyebrows have definitely stayed in place all day they're looking fantastic i think what i might do is wipe one of them off and compare it to the elf wow brow just to see which one i like better because it is looking really really nice the concealer i really liked so you can see on this side it's worn off faster than on this side because we set this side with powder so i think i would set it with powder going forward but i think this concealer mixed with the number seven powder is going to be my new go-to for every day it's hydrating and it has a really decent amount of coverage as well so it's just a really gorgeous concealer i really enjoyed this 
What else? The skin is looking quite shiny. I think that's because I put the Radiant Serum underneath the skin tint, which means that it's just very, very glowy. I think what I will do in future is put this serum on underneath my moisturizer as part of my skincare routine, like it recommends, because I think that will look gorgeous and then use this on its own. I think I'm gonna have to try this out a little bit more, but it is really, really nice. I think what I'm gonna do is actually wipe off the tinted serum now just to see how much is left on the skin and then I'm going to apply it just on its own just to see what that looks like because as I said I think I'm not going to put that brightening serum on as a primer I'll use it more as a skincare item as it's intended I mean you can see there you've still got a lot of pigment left on the skin which is fantastic after seven hours I didn't set this down with powder it is still on the skin and that is fantastic and it did look really lovely healthy throughout the day which is great and you can see there's a bit of red there as well so the lip and cheek colors have lasted really really well throughout the day i'm very impressed with these i think to be honest my favorite products from this haul were the lip and cheek colors and the concealer i these are fantastic and i would definitely definitely recommend although everything was fantastic and i don't think i was disappointed by any of the products which is unusual so i'm really really happy and it's good because it was the stuff was not it was not cheap i'm also just gonna wipe off this eyebrow put the wow brow on this side yeah that's still got a lot of pigment in it as well the the brow tint was good it really lasted all day so I'm just gonna put the wow brow on the left side. So you've got elf wow brow on this side and the rose ink brow tint on this side. Let me know what you think in the comments, which one you like better because I think I'm torn now. They both look really nice. Although this one is significantly cheaper. Let's put the tinted serum on now that the face has dried down just to see what it looks like on its own without that radiant serum underneath. So this is the tinted serum on and it is definitely still looking really glowy, really nice, but definitely less shiny than before. Uh, still as gorgeous though. Yeah, I think going forward, I'll be putting this on without that really radiant primer underneath because it doesn't need it and while we're here let's just put on another one of these cheek and lip colors so this is the shade Ophelia this is the bright pink one I want to see what this looks like on the skin so I'm just going to tap a bit off because these are very pigmented let me just put that on I look a bit mad because I haven't got concealer on so just ignore that this on the lips as well so as I said on the on the lips these aren't hugely hydrating so I have quite dry lips at the moment but they last for ages and you could put a lip gloss or a lip balm on top I think to solve that problem I actually really like that color okay so that is everything as I said really lovely fantastic brand I enjoyed all of it obviously some things more than others but it was a really great try on so if you liked this video then please do give it a thumbs up if you liked me and you want to see more videos from me then please do hit the subscribe button down below if you've tried any of these products from rose ink then i'd love to hear from you in the comments i hope you're having a fantastic day or week and i will see you in the next one bye